everyone, and welcome back to Dingoes and Dice. Hello. Hello. Good morrow, viewers. <laughs> so we are back after um, crazy events of uh, last week's session. <laughs> Thanks, kitten. Wow, just the mention of crazy gets you to do that now, kitten. Is that how it's gonna be? Uh... <laughs> Really no worries. I, I, that, I figured that it was a good <laughs> punctuation for that, but that's it. Don't uh, worry. I think I need to turn your Thank you. Down. I was going to have to ask you to dial it back to maybe a ten and a half. <laughs> <laughs> out of ten? <laughs> no, out of four. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, my gosh. You know, uh, down from 220. <laughs> So, quick in uh, introductions today. Uh, words I can't instead. speak words. Hi, I'm Nana, I'm Druid, and I rip out people's, cr people's crutches as Wolf. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> no context. Am... Moving on. <laughs> Very, con Very good context there. Mm. I am uh, Rathena, and I am the crazed uh, warlock. And I am uh, Bagadak Chris. I play Tani, who is the gnome paladin. Um, he's more often than not dead, but he makes a very, very annoying stump to trip over when going to the castles. Hi, I'm Elena. I play Crystal. I like fire, and I want cookies now. <laughs> <laughs> cookies. Hand you all the cookies. Yay, cookies! <laughs> I'm Crimson on the DM, so therefore I play everything and everyone else and try to help these guys through the story. <laughs> Emphasis on try. <laughs> no, you're doing an awesome job, Crimson. Yeah, yeah sure. it's not always easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I think Max wants to go out one second. Continue on, though. So, where do we left? We we left off on just after surviving a difficult encounter, didn't we? Yes, a very difficult encounter. Yes. A brief recap for those uh, who forgot last time or who weren't here. Uh, in the last session, the uh, the four of these brave adventurers started off. Uh, just out of sight of a group of cultists and kobolds who were bickering amongst themselves. In the conversation, from what they could make out, appeared to be the cultists bullying the kobolds into doing what they wanted them to do. The party then decided to sneak off, Tiny doing a little bit less than accurately, <laughs> and decided to blast one from a distance with Elge Blast, and shoot a crossbow bolt, which unfortunately missed, and then surprise them. They managed to successfully take down all of them, and then proceeded a bit further, and then came out into a clearing, but were then ambushed by a rear guard of the Cult of the Dragon. One of them was fairly skilled, and took a heck of a beating, managing to knock down at least three out of four people after shoving a rock avalanche after them. And the party managed to take down successfully everyone else that was in the rear guard, as well as the veteran there, while <laughs> sustaining several serious injuries themselves. And that is where we pick up this session. Woo! <laughs> so the audio cut out just for a second there right at the start because I moved out of range with my headset, sorry. But um, it was only a second. <laughs> okay. So... The four of you are now here. Uh, here being the map I will pull up in just a moment. <laughs> and there we go. Woo. So the four of you are now here. Nana and Tobias both Unconscious, but stable. Okay, yep. Crystal and Rathena, both conscious, but bloodied. <laughs> kind of shaken after having such a serious fight. 
Yeah. Um, I can't say because I'm unconscious, but I'm pretty sure Tiny would be screaming for someone to give him a bit of a, you know, a little bit of help. <laughs> okay. Pipe down, Tiny. I'll go in there, use uh, my potion. What do you mean pipe down? Not... He's completely silent. <laughs> well, does, does Chris have any healing abilities? He's yelling on the inside. <laughs> Since when can Rathena read the dead? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> well, he's not dead. He's unconscious, right? Yeah. Kind of. Well, close to it. <laughs> um, before we waste our healing potion, does Christo have any healing stuff left? Before we waste the healing potion, he says. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, she has a spell slot. Okay. But it's on her if she wants to use it. Yeah. Wait, I have a healer's kit, don't I? Well, healer's kit stabilizes. Hmm. It doesn't restore health. They will come back to consciousness with time. In fact, I'll have uh, both Nana and Tobias roll me uh, 1d4. Oh, I haven't even got my profile up yet. 1d4? Yep. Yep. One time I don't want a high roll. Jeez. All right. Uh, Nano, you will come to consciousness in three hours. Tobias, you will come to consciousness in four. Ah, I need to roll low on that one. <laughs> Okay. Sometimes the high rolls aren't good. That's what I was going to say. The, the only time I don't want a high roll and I get a roll, the max. <laughs> Crystal, let's go and set up a camp and uh, get these two uh, settled in since they're going to be a while. Yeah, unless, I think that's a good idea. Unless Crystal wants to get me out. <clears throat> well, one of us will still be down. I think um, any, I think anything that moves and is female can get you up, Tiny. Yes, that is, that is very, very true. But I, I may still have a couple points of lay on hands. If I remember correctly, you used all of them. Nope. Not all of them, I kept a couple spare. Hmm. Just in case this type of scenario happened. Well, we can rest and just um, save those for next encounter. Well, if we get a long rest, we get them all back anyway, but that means we can do some stuff before we rest. Yeah, so, we'll go. Attempting to set up camp? Yeah, probably around here since it's uh, sheltered enough and we have a good enough view of uh, the different directions. All right, just give me a second here. Maybe we'll do magical things. <laughs> and I get my uh, raven. <laughs> I get my uh, raven to go up uh, above me uh, about eighty. Uh, 80 feet so that I could go and get a good view of the area while we're uh, setting up so that I could keep an eye out. You get yourself uh, sorts of back so anyway. Do you want to use your healing on me, um, Crystal? And I can use mine on Nana. Otherwise, we'll just be unconscious for the hours. Well, yes, though, so, uh, as long as there's nothing that uh, happens during the rest, there. Uh, it it's not exactly a that much time that we spend. Uh, well, I'm just thinking if we're unconscious, it's gonna take four hours for me to get a long rest after that. So then I need to spend uh, twelve hours at least resting. We don't have to do a bad. long rest. We can just do a short rest and recover. Well, look at the the state of our health too. That's a good point. We're gonna to want to go and get a. A long rest, get ourselves healed up okay. during that, and then uh, progress. Otherwise, we will be in a very bad state. Yeah, that's why I say that, because otherwise we're going to have to, a long rest isn't going to do um, uh, Nana and I. Yeah, well, why not? No, because we need to get un we need to become conscious, and then we get a long rest. Uh, long rest is only eight hours. Well, that's fine, too, because... 
Right. So setting up camp over here. Clay. All right. Getting a fire going or just setting up bedrolls. What's the deal? Um, wouldn't the fire actually be uh, like uh, beneficial even for uh, like just uh, a general rest? I mean, it lets you. It gives off light. It gives off warmth on cold nights. Fires are generally beneficial. You can ask Crystal, and she'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, regardless of the conversation you're actually having. Well, true. But yes, uh, we will go and set up a fire and go and uh, keep the two unconscious ones uh, closer to it, so that they can at least go and get as much. Uh, Rest, however meaningful it is, while unconscious. Okay. Okay. That's a cute fire, Crimson. <laughs> I try. <laughs> so. All right. Let's go ahead and get these X's out of here. And though uh, after uh, moving them, uh, uh, Tiny and uh, Nana over by the fire to go and rest, I'll go and actually uh, check through the bodies and see what's uh, what may be among their uh, belongings. All right, make an investigation check. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. All right. Uh, they don't have anything in terms of treasure per se. Uh, aside from their, uh, aside from their outfits and weapons, there's not really much on them. Well, I'll take a hold. Of, uh, I'll uh, take their weapons at least. So, if nothing else, it's something that we can sell or use if need be. Okay. Let me just calculate that. Okay. Okay. Uh, math is not quick. <laughs> okay. And you're just taking them, keeping them on yourself? Um, I'll take uh, some of the lighter weapons from, like, uh, and keep those with me, and I'll get the, go and uh, have the others go and take uh, the rest, so that way, uh, that way n none of us are all overburdened by uh, taking it all uh, on one person. Okay. So. That's a good catch. Okay. Because otherwise, you wouldn't be able to move right now. <laughs> yeah. I would figure as much. Because you're already carrying about 113 pounds, and you'd be adding an extra 64, and with a strength of 10, you can't move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be dead weight, or rather... I mean, you can certainly try. <laughs> nope. I am not that crazy. I am crazy, but not that crazy. Yes, but crazy people don't know they're crazy. You know you're crazy, therefore you're not crazy. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> well, it could be. Then it, again, uh, the craziness b might be just a, an infectious uh, delusion. Yes but, yes, but insanity is in the mind of the beholder. This is true. 
<laughs> or in this case, in the stocks. <laughs> I'm glad she got that. Okay. Anyways, I will go and take a, like the lighter weapons that are uh, among the the things. So, what did I find exactly for weaponry? Uh, found several scimitars. A couple of daggers, a heavy crossbow, a long sword, and a short sword. Okay, I'll take the daggers and the short sword. All right. Okay, so that was uh, how many daggers? Uh, two of them. Two? Okay. And a short sword? Okay, and I give uh, the rest uh, among uh, the group. So, uh, the heavy crossbow and Probably the long swords to uh, Tiny, which will be basically placed near him, and then uh, given to him properly when he uh, comes uh, comes to consciousness. And I'll give the, the uh, divide the seven towers between uh, Nana and Crystal. Okay. Okay then. So Tiny with the long sword and the scimitars between Nana and Crystal, and the heavy crossbow to Tiny as well? Yep. All right. Nana and Crystal, you are you now are both in the possession of three scimitars. It will be three pounds apiece. Mm -hmm. I'll just add those to my inventory. I don't remember how to do that. I got you. Thank you. That's what I do, girl. <laughs> Is what I do. <laughs> and then we'll have our long rest, I suppose. All right. Oh, but yeah. So uh, it'll. Crystal and I will go and uh, take turns keeping watch because uh, it will be a w little bit of time, and uh, we don't want to have ourselves uh, being using up our energy too uh, meaninglessly. All right. I'll say that uh, in the time that you two are keeping watch. Uh, enough time has passed that the uh, that the other two come to consciousness. Nana first, of course, and then Tobias. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay. We we uh, direct them to uh, the items that we uh, procured uh, from uh, the enemies. Tiny, do not be using the crossbow unless we absolutely need to. <laughs> I am totally going to equip that crossbow. <laughs> it's not exactly a matter of equipping it, it's the fact that you have it on your person. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally going to use it when that comes up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, I actually, I was actually looking at getting the crossbow, so I do appreciate that. Thank you very much, Athena. I take a great. You're very weapon. welcome, Tiny. I, I spend my watch slowly tinkering and playing with it while keeping an eye out. <laughs> okay, and uh, Medina, roll me an intelligence check. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Normal or uh, just normal? Normal. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Well, <laughs> that went well. Okay. Unless it didn't. Yeah, you do remember to you do remember to take the bolts when you get the crossbow. Ah. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Don't thank, gonna... don't thank anyone but the dice. <laughs> I was about to give you an empty crossbow, Matt. 
<laughs> well, I kind of have to go and uh, check for that uh, from time to time because, well, my character will have her uh, fumbling uh, because sanity is not exactly tightly bound to her. <laughs> Her raven is such. her sanity, practically. If it's off her shoulder, she could snap at any moment. <laughs> so that'd be 20 bolts, would it? Uh, with the amount of shots he took at Rodina, I'll say you've got 10. 10? That sounds Yeah, fair. he did take a lot of shots. <laughs> Those Didn't are standard hit many of them. <laughs> Still upset about that. <laughs> and I goaded him too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you finished him once more with feeling, and then he <laughs> lost all feeling. <laughs> From the neck up. No, entirely. He did. <laughs> Can't get much more non-feeling than that. <laughs> I'm just saying. True enough. So. So were those uh, standard bolts, or were they... Uh... Yeah, they were standard. Okay. Wouldn't want uh, Tiny getting his hands on some <coughs> barbed uh, bolts. I think that'd be a fantastic idea. I need to go listen to wine some of them. On some what bolts? Barbed. Barbed hmm. crossbow bolts. Okay. Yeah, the Tiny thing to note, this crossbow is about as big as you. That's perfectly fine. I will use it like a ballista. Maybe a head's height shorter. <laughs> That's okay. I'll use it like a ballista. Like, if you've ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean, where that uh, where the dwarf fires a cannon and then gets blown back 20 feet? <laughs> Basically that. <laughs> <laughs> so it will leave one hell of a hole in the other person. Stop blowing holes in my ship! <laughs> But anyways, once they've come to, we uh, make sure that everyone actually gets healed up. Sorry, so commencing with our long rests. All right. Yep. So, who all is keeping watch? And for how long? Um, since uh, it was Crystal and myself uh, doing, uh, trading off uh, watches while they were unconscious... I, I'll say... We'll probably need to do Crystal will take uh, the first uh, rest, followed by uh, Nana, myself, and then Tiny. Mm -hmm. The first rest or the first watch? Uh, the <sighs> the, fir the first watch I'll take, followed by okay. Nana, then Crystal, then Tiny. To give it, give an appropriate order. <laughs> Sorry, is right. that okay? All right, and you're dividing that as two hours apiece. Um, all eight hours. Yeah. Any objections? Right. Um, uh, no, just requiring all of you to make me a perception check. Okay. Thank you. Uh, perception check. <laughs> I'm too busy staring at the crossbow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And we need to do a passive perception check? No, not passive, active. Jesus, oh, Crystal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good roll. Okay, and... Oh! Well okay, apparently you guys are sleeping with your eyes open. <laughs> apparently no. you're awake with your eyes closed. <laughs> I, I took a massive beating in that last fight, so... Okay, so... Oh, Rathina, then Nana, then Crystal, then Tobias on watch, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So, none of you see 
anything peculiar on your watch? All of you? Yeah. Uh, awake. Mid-morning. Oversleeping a bit. Untouched. Unscathed. But all of you asleep. Okay. So where we all uh, be able to get our uh, health back up? Yep, you've completed a long rest. Okay. The only issue being Tiny fell asleep on watch. <laughs> Tiny. What are you talking about? And any hit dice you have used, you may recover up to half of them. So we've covered all our hit points, I take it? Yes. All hit points, all spell slots, all expendable resources. Hit dice, recover up to half, though. Okay, so... so... I used one, does that mean I don't get any? Or I get uh, the... If you used one, then you recover one. Okay, because I had two, I used one, so I recover one, so I'm back to yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah, so if you've, used, if you've used two, you recover one. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Seeing as we are not devoured, Tiny, <laughs> you seem to have had uh, enough rest to go and actually continue. Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> The, the crossbow is so shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I have plus to use that as well, actually. So I'm pretty interested to see how that might work out. Anyway, with all that, yeah. with all that polishing you were applying to that uh, crossbow, it's no wonder hey. it's shiny. Hey, tiny. Yeah. It's not shiny. It's wood. <laughs> oh, it's shiny after I was finished with it. Don't you worry. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, no need to, once we wake no, up as well, I'm going no to... No need to ask what you're doing on watch. <laughs> so oh, I'm going to do a quick double check of the bodies um, just before we leave. All right. Checking for anything in specific? Um, on this guy in particular, see if he has any notes or anything like that, any um, like orders or anything shiny. <laughs> anything of important on him. Okay. Yeah, roll an investigation. Um, I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no. I found a dead body. <laughs> There's like a few over here. Yes, you did. <laughs> well, you don't even look right. good luck with um, those rolls, Faye. Yeah, just, yeah, not an investigation, you just look at it. Hmm. I think it's suicide. <laughs> now, is there, the armor that they're wearing, is there enough that it would fit all of us? Like, is there one my size as well as the other people's? <laughs> um, the robes, maybe, but uh, the armor, too big for you. Yeah, he was a big guy, wasn't he? Yeah. What about the other guys, though? Would they be able to... I'm thinking about maybe having us disguise ourselves as the bandits going further. <sighs> That's why they're less likely to see us. Oh, so you're so gonna long. be hiding in someone's ropes, Tiny? Yeah, I'll, Start hiding in mine. I'll hide underneath yours. <laughs> <laughs> One of you guys can wear robes, and I can just walk underneath it. It'll be fine. No. Um, Crimson, did I recover a spell slot during that a long rest? I would have, wouldn't I? Uh, yes, your spell slots recover after a long rest. Awesome. And my wild shape as well. Yes. I recover those two. Cool. Okay. Okay. Before we uh, head off, I make sure that I at least bring all the bodies to one spot so that they could go and be out of the way for most others, and it would go and at least go and uh, decompose properly without uh, right. being <laughs> being a mess. All right, just some out of the way place. Yeah, something like say around here or something like that. But okay. Anyway. <laughs> Still gone. <laughs> How's that for out of the way? That works. Thought it might. All right, where so, are we heading? Anyway. First of all, Crystal, put out that fire, please. We <laughs> know you like it, but it has to go out. Yes, you can. Oh, but I want to get the fire up. If you if you want it so much, take a. One stick from it uh, while it's still ablaze, and put the rest of it out. <laughs> Fine. 
Besides, you'll have other opportunities to go and set things on fire. So. Where to? Um, yeah, I'm going to keep on following the track that we're heading, keep heading down that way. But now? Head up the slope up here, or...? Uh, on or down the path, I imagine. Well, actually, who is leading this charge now? Is it Tobias, or is he still too fixated on his new weapon? I'm too fixated. I think Nana should take the lead, as soon as she can see right into the fifth dimension. <laughs> um, Not always. And she's the best survivalist, so she should probably lead the charge. Okay. I'm going to be too fixated dragging my weapon behind me. Um, Crystal, you go and keep Tiny to moving forward. I'll keep a watch on the back. Alright, I'll be, I'll leave then. Which way are we heading? Right, well, uh, which way? Let me make a survival check. Oh gosh. Okay. Survival, survival, survival. Seventeen. Okay. Thank you, bonus. Okay. Uh. It takes you about an hour to get your bearings because you overslept, and the sun is not in the correct position that you thought it was, so you get turned around a little bit, but you eventually do manage to get back on track, and uh, you begin heading southward again. Okay. And while we're traveling, I make the um, the um, the Holy Grail cocoon, uh, coconut sound for the horses. Where'd you get the coconuts? <laughs> you forgot it. the coconuts. <laughs> God. But anyway, as we're proceeding, I will make sure that I have my raven uh, above me about. 90 feet and uh, just circle above so that I keep a, a, a clear enough watch. So love you got the freaking coconut reference. <laughs> I feel like that's just a buffering symbol for Rathena, just a raven moving in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about buffering? It's a loading sign. Yeah, it's loading sanity, loading sanity, loading sanity. <laughs> Oh, she finally goes unconscious. Done! <laughs> Your 30 day trial has expired. Would you like to purchase Winrar? <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, moving forward. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, moving on. So, takes you. Uh, from this point, it takes you a couple more hours. Although, for clarity's sake, what did happen with the cultist's robes? Anyone actually take any, or did we just leave those? Well, I can kind of wear the robes. As you said, that I could probably no, wear. Them. I mean, just one, I mean one would drag one would drag behind you about a foot, but you could feasibly wear it. <laughs> I could do. I'd use a dagger and just like kind of short for me, so I could wear it without being behind me. Did you guys yeah, want to wear some of the cultist armor and dress up like the cultists, or are we going to go in our shrine and glory itself? Um, I don't mm -hmm. think. I think the antlers will give me away. And okay, my I've got my dagger. I can just cut them off. No! <laughs> Don't <right>. you dare. <laughs> Good point. I forgot about the antlers. They're so high up, I can't see that high. <laughs> Let's... Yes, no that's mind. what's stopping you. Yes. <laughs> that's that's what it is. All right, so we're going here. We're not going thing. to try and... We're not going to try and be all stealthy and whatnot. She's trying to play it smart. Every... Every time we try to go and be stealthy, guess what happens? Either Crystal uh, goes and awakes, uh, makes them uh, aware, or you end up leaving uh, armor prints in the ground. Yeah, but that, that's part of our, <laughs> our trap. They follow me, and then you blast them in the face with the urge blast. We've got, a, we've got a system. That's our system. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll wake him with my staff. We could yeah, try okay. sneaking in, though we'll... We'll need to go and do something uh, about the antlers. Can you paint, Tiny? Um, besides naked girls, no, not much. <laughs> no, Doesn't require we, naked well, girls. The antlers are going to go kind of really hide us, so well, we have to just get going. We could go and simply just and Nana, you will have to be uh, willing to go for this, but you. 
we could go and try to uh, paint your antlers so that uh, they blend in. No. Again. Option, but yeah. What are we going to paint with? We don't even have any paints. <laughs> we I, do have I, tiny. I it could go in there probably produce paint easily enough. <laughs> Let's just continue on without the robes, okay? She's like, leave my okay. antlers alone. <laughs> I don't want to so wear we found out that her clothes, antlers but... are her sensitive spot. No touch to the antlers. <sighs> okay, let's move forward then. So, <laughs> several hours later, in the midst of the afternoon, as you're all discussing various forms of painting in disguise, <laughs> <laughs> you do end up coming upon an area that seems to be bustling with activity. You can hear it from the distance, and as you begin to approach, uh, I will have all of you mixed up. As I hear oh, no. music from this peaceful demeanor. Normal? Yep. Yes! <laughs> yep. Why did you roll two dice? Because uh, he's at disadvantage. Oh, right. So I rolled a 20 is a disadvantage. <laughs> that was a natural 20, and he had to take the three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. Feels bad, man. <laughs> and how did Crystal roll for that? Hey! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, fuck you! you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. That's just mean! Oh. <laughs> oh. Right, <laughs> but we can totally paint the antlers. <laughs> I can cut them off and I can glue them on afterwards. It's not a big deal, don't worry back. <sighs> Ugh. Crystal just took the burnt stick she had and just paints like little war paint streaks across her cheeks and disappears. <laughs> <laughs> just for people who haven't seen our previous streams, uh, Crystal usually rolls really, really low on stealth checks. <laughs> yeah, um, Crystal is normally mind type of rolls. <laughs> That's why it's so funny. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah. Crystal oh. became John Cena. You cannot see me. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't see me. My time is out. <laughs> Cut it in. So Crystal is Crystal, myself, and Nana seem to have faded somewhat into the background, and Tiny is there and loud and proud. <laughs> Just eyes. Close, squinting, shut, going. You can't see me. I can't see you. I cannot see you. You cannot see me. Therefore, I am here. <laughs> That's it. That's tough. Cling, 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 cling. Cling, clang, cling, clang, cling, clang. <laughs> Eyes closed. So, what is what has happened? Uh, you have all managed to sneak up behind uh, behind a series of. Difficult to maneuver around boulders that provide you with a distant amount of cover. And you're able to look off the edge of the precipice down into a hollow and rocky plateau, shaped somewhat roughly like a horseshoe. That uh, looks something like this. Crossbow spot. Yes, let's go. No. You can all just sit here and snipe them all, one of the t <laughs> or ten of them, rather. Then I'll have to use twigs and rocks. So were we yeah. coming from the north or from uh, yeah, the uh, 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 give me a second. Jesus. Yes it is. Okay. I was like, it is a very big man. I was a roll, a scrolling um, out like, holy cow. Okay. Jeez. Yes, well, you're yeah, all about... Culture's armor. Yep, you're all right about over here. Okay. I, got, I think I got it in. There we go. All right. Give me one second. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. I take this is the Raiders camp. Uh, give me a sec. Sorry. Don't know what gives you that idea. Jeez. This is going to be mm. interesting. <laughs> it's really far down. Eh? Wait, hold on. on the right track, get a UR here set up. Yep. Everyone get your bearings on distance. I can now shoot to 400 feet, so... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do too much. <laughs> yes, so... From the basis of where you are, you can see down in here, you can see a multitude of tents, uh, tiny figures in the distance moving back and forth. Uh, the bustling of uh, people running around doing various different jobs, uh, the nature of which can probably be determined given time. Uh, countless figures just moving back and forth, just generally what you'd expect from a large raiding party or a camp. With, uh, with two, uh, two large towers built up onto, uh, uh, built up, made out of wood and uh, reached via a ladder towards the inside of the structure. See ver you see various people coming and going, uh, some through, the, some through uh, an entrance off to the, uh, to the west, a view over and around this area. At this point, it's about, we'll say, been traveling for a couple hours, so two in the afternoon. Hmm. What do you wish to do? Yeah. I think we should stay and observe for a while, definitely. Um, if we're going to attack, I'd like to attack at night. We've nearly all got dark vision, except for, I think, Elena. Um, or night vision. Um, Who is this Elena that you are keep talking sorry, about? Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. Sorry. People in my head, they're talking. Um... <laughs> and that way we'd probably get at least a little bit of advantage and we wouldn't be disappointed but also we can kind of find out if there's anything interesting that's going to be happening well what are those squares these things sorry those, are the those those are the uh those are the towers with uh, several people inside of them okay, okay. um well what it uh, what were we uh, tasked to do for this? We were to go and scout out, correct? Yes, and we need to find that person who's missing too. That priest person. Is there anything that looks yeah. like the priest yeah. area down there? <laughs> uh, you were asked to locate the camp, find out where they are, how many are there, who their leader is, what their motive is, where they plan to attack next. And to find a half elven man named uh, named Leosin or mm -hmm. and tell him that his uh, his disciple Nesim Waladra sent you. Okay, uh, so then I'm uh, to remember him by. Now this cave hole here is that a cave hole? Uh, <laughs> looks looks very cave-like. It is definitely a hole. Okay. Is it something that they're actively using? Like, is there more? Does it look like it might be like a bit of a more underground or something, or is it just kind of 
there, and they're kind of leaving that line. Oh man, that's a layered check. <laughs> Is there any activity around that? Do we see people going um, in and out of it? <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, no one going in and out of it. If you'd like to, I'd say Tobias, make me a uh, make me a nature and an insight check. This is not going to go well. All right. Uh, Maybe we should uh, move everything on myself. I'll do, in, I'll do insight first. Let's give that a go. Mm, there we go. And then uh, nature. Not too bad. 21 and 16. All right. Uh, Based yeah. <laughs> on the, uh, it's it's very hard to see because you're over like three, four hundred feet away from the entrance of this thing. You don't see anyone moving in or out of it per se, but based on what you can see, the entrance uh, doesn't seem to be carved in any way. Though the ground around it does seem to be tr seem to have been tread upon fairly often. You can tell that because the grass that kind of somewhat slopes down into this relief in the uh, in the valley seems to be a bit worn down and like receding back from the mouth of the cave. So you can tell that people have used this uh, a fair bit. You're not sure what for, and you're not sure how long ago. But mm -hmm. this uh, this this whole seen some use, to put it in a way you'll probably understand. <laughs> Has it has it has it seen as much use as, as Nana's mom? Excuse me. Oh. What? Okay. Um. <laughs> I will whack you with my star. I'll <laughs> whack him with mine. <laughs> um. We'll take turns. I threatened to throw him off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So no, better... so it's All right. So. Well. And is it? Remember what that wolf did. <laughs> It's fine. I'm too small. Its mouth wouldn't even fit. Jeez. Okay, let's move along, please. Uh, um, I think it's the other way around. What? I'm too big? No, <laughs> it's if the mouth is too small that something doesn't fit. You've got it backwards. As in, like, it wouldn't be able to just maul me ill like, completely. Uh, um, if okay, anything, so it would it, it, Anyways! Like, moving on! Anyways! It has, uh, looks like prisoners. Anyone that's been caged. Anyways, I... I go, uh, Tiny? Yes. Crystal, Nana? Mm -hmm. Whatever we're gonna do, we may want to go and wait to the cover of night because honestly, yes. this looks like a case where if we go in like we usually do, <laughs> it won't go well. And I, and I emphasize usually do, and I keep an, uh, move my eyes to Tiny for a moment and then uh, <laughs> go back to the group at large. We are going to end up dead. All of us. Yeah. Yes. I agree. So, that, before we bugger off to get some sleep, we need to make sure we're probably going to investigate this place. So, is there anywhere that looks like there's got the prisoners? Because we need to find that elf guy, if we can, while we're here. Well, I don't think they would... Go maybe, ahead. Maybe Rathena could send her raven out? Sure. Rathena, do you want to... See if your Raven wants to do a bit of a scout over there. See if you can see any prisoners or anything like that in any locations. Hmm. I have I have a question for the DM. Um, would uh, my Raven be able to go and obtain information even beyond the distance that uh, is my range for perception, and then bring it back? If it would, it wouldn't have a way to communicate it to you. Okay. Um. Hmm. Mm. I'll, I'll go in there and just say the raven is limited and it's, it's not going to help if uh, it goes beyond the limit. Okay. But we could, we can see about, and this is just, um, just my ramblings, if they have any prisoners, I don't think that they would go and have them out in clear sight. Probably not. No, that's why I was going to have a quick look, see if they look like that. Um, 
the only other thing as well, that big tent with all the people surrounded, that looks rather important, yes? Now, it does look like it would be very important, though the well, question becomes, that. is it important to us, or is it just an important period? Well, I was thinking we could try, uh, if we are going to try and attack at night, take a... Um, I never said attack at night. I said to uh, take, well, go and do what we need to do to find out the information we need, and then escape. We could do that, or we could take a page out of the Cultist book, set up on top of the K uh, over the cliff face here, and if there's like a big um, rock or something like that, we can push it down on top of the the tent. And squish whoever's inside. Do what they did to us. Uh, and uh, then bring the, the entire well, camp down on us. Well, we can get that all out of there by the time they get up there, because they're on, we're on top of a cliff face. So we can make our escape before they get to it. I have a thought. Yes? I could wild shape into a creature at night time and go scout out. Can you that would do probably be our best bet. Mm-hmm. I was just looking through the different creatures I can turn into. Can you turn into a bug? Something small and inconspicuous? Yes, but that would make things difficult to, like... Uh, bugs are tiny! That's the whole point. If they see a squirrel, they might eat <sighs> Just, Just looking after your, your consent. Hey, can anyone polymorph? Can someone polymorph me? Polymorph? Can go with <laughs> no! Uh, what level spells are out of the question right now? Right, okay. Isn't polymorph like a a last, like close to last tier spell? Actually, it's fairly mid tier. It's fourth level. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So still much. well out of our range. I don't know yes, that. well out of everyone's range thus far. Okay. Yeah. Is there much oh, going on uh, around the big tent? Uh, the, uh, you said you guys were going to be watching this place for a few hours? Yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll keep we'll, an eye we'll out. We'll camp out and keep an eye out. Mm. All right, we're going to at least right. wait till night time. We'll keep on discussing plans and whatnot. The ones with right. the best... Bit, then, uh, yeah, but... yeah, aside from, uh, the main thing is that, the main thing you notice is that, uh, the creatures surrounding the tent seem to be patrolling it. But aside from that... Nothing much going on over there. A few cultists and things stop by and uh, give brief words to the uh, to the guys patrolling. But aside from that, nothing much. And on average, how many people do we see in the entire camp? Walk a fair few, or most going out on patrols and stuff. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'll say. Hmm. Why does that? Crystal, do you have any idea of um, what we should do? Any suggestion? Um... We could continue to watch. Uh, at night time, though, do you want to just send uh, Nana in on her own, or... Um, Try and do a surprise attack. What, what are you guys feeling? Any attacks attack. will end in failure if uh, this group is uh, secretly bigger than uh, what we can see. Yeah, that's why we're checking numbers. What the hell is an armor rage? Oh my god, it looks like a squirrel well, with thinking... a unicorn cord. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like pitch or like gooey substance, we can make giant fireballs we can toss down into there onto the tents and stuff and just set the camper fire. Again, we're, that'll only cause mild confusion until they realize that they're being attacked okay. and then they'll go and go outward and there is far more of them than they are, there are of us. True, yes. Uh, and I'm trying, sure to that they... es trying to estimate all the uh, however many are here. I'll say, make me a perception check. Who? 
all of us? Tiny's the one who asked, so I'll say he can do it. Uh-oh. Please be critical success. Please be critical. Nope. <sighs> I don't know, maybe 60? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely too many to attack then. So, looking at the creatures I can turn into, probably my best bet will be a bet. Will be a rat. And yeah, you could turn into that. Yeah, because yeah. they're probably less likely to take notice of a rat sniffing around things. <laughs> Very true. There's not a huge amount of choice I have with animals, really. Can Nana control uh, what kind of uh, fur, like the color of the fur? Yeah, let's not be bright. <laughs> now being a rat. Nothing, nothing abnormal, but depending oh. on what kind of rat it is, yeah. Yeah, like she could change her fur to be really matted and gnarly, or she could make it just like sleek white. We might <laughs> might want to go with the matted and gnarly, and probably a little bit darker in yeah. color, so that it's way uh, less noticeable. Make a little bit of foam near your mouth if you can. <laughs> I think you've got rabies and I'll leave you the fuck alone. They probably will try and kill yeah. me. <laughs> Where is that? Go on if you go near one. Anyways. So in this whole thing, whole time, from what Tiny has uh, gathered, and I hope that he shares what uh, he has observed. Hey guys. hey guys, about 60 odd people here. I don't know, I lost count. Uh, <laughs> Even half that number will go and kill us all very swiftly. Yes. So we're not going to attack, don't worry. Good. We do need to I'm glad we came to an understanding. <laughs> but in case none is detected, we, we can need a, have a plan B. We can't. <laughs> well, if that's the case, Tiny, you're going to. You and Crystal can go around to. Take a big detour around and get to the south end of it and set up something that could go and easily be uh, set ablaze and then cast in. That sounds like a good idea. All right, Crystal, <laughs> let's go find something to set on fire. Yay! <laughs> but don't set it on fire until we need it, okay? If I we don't need it, we are not doing that. I have a new crossbow bolt as well, so if I can make some of my bolts on fire, when I fire them, <sighs> I can aim for the tents. And it will also give away your position as well, anyone that goes and sees it in the middle of That's the right. night. That's fine, because the our whole idea of us being up there is that we draw the attention off from Nana. So she gets yes. to escape, and then that... we can escape by the time they get there. But that's if things go sideways. Yeah, yeah. alright, we're not going to do I'll it. be generous and remind you that you did see them attack with a dragon. Yeah. Uh oh. What what was it? It was a ice or was it a lightning? It was lightning. All right. It's so still we a dragon. We need some metal rods to ground ourselves. To make some lightning rods around us to attract the light. Uh, anyways, <laughs> not how it works. <laughs> so Crystal and Tiny head around slowly. Yeah. Even if you have to go for quite a wide berth do so yeah we're going to okay. do a wide berth so go north and then as far away as possible make sure we're staying outside of that tower on the east yes can we have a quick break before we do this if that's cool no sure that'll be fine clay we'll just take right. a what five minute break is that okay five minutes sure. would be fine we are okay. back and we are just discussing things <laughs> But yeah, like, uh, before we send Tiny out, I, I direct him to, him and, uh, Crystal to try to go for this spot of, uh, the other side of the, uh, the, uh, Horseshoe Canyon. I'm thinking over here, so we should go. So that way, or if, uh, the forest area looks to be a better spot to go and set one up over there. I still think there. 
and uh, that means it gives us enough time to get north before they get out and around. So down there, it's a lot further to travel. So well, yes, the... but it. Yeah. But when it's further away, we'll also have an exit uh, for getting out of there if we need to go and use this strategy. Which exit? So. But anyways, this is just as what I was say before they go and head off. So, I do have to rely on them to go and uh, make the decision uh, of uh, what's... I, I, I still think it would be a better idea, because if we're going to do the big destruction bit, I'd much rather try and set fire to this one here, the big important place. Um, you know, we might get lucky, we might kill whoever is in there, that's obviously important. If not, um, at least we're still doing the same effect. If it's a prisoner that's inside there, killing them would not exactly help us. Nope, but... It's meant it's, to be uh, a distraction, not a... Uh, an attack. Because the thing is, a distraction, it will still draw them away and we could get out. <clears throat> yeah, but we're distracting them by attacking. It's the same thing. Uh... Yes. Though, if uh, suddenly... The whole fight. <sighs> We're going to get nowhere if we don't go and uh, make a decision. <laughs> but, well, the, there's no real strategic value of it there, there because... Well, the distraction from is there, plan B, so I guess... Yeah, this is only plan B, because if we have to get out of there, we're going to have to go to the right, and to the east, and then north. If it's a big bit of travel way there, we only have to go north. I direct them to the idea of a rope that they could set a flame and have it run to the target and make sure that it goes and burns through the what's going to fall over, plus what uh, is holding it up. Make sure that it's something burnable that it can go and collapse and then fall down into the canyon. Alright, well... We can and that will give you time to go and run away. And keep you from being noticed. Okay. So. Any other uh, arguments or counter-arguments or ideas? I still think it's a silly idea because it's still a, a long way between those two points. And if, any, like, if there's going to be reinforcements, that cave, as I said, we know there's going to be a lot of use. We want to make sure that we've got those people there. Uh, I'm time. also planning for you and uh, Crystal to actually have a way to go and escape well, uh, unnoticed. But what I'm trying to ask, though, is, is what is significant about here? Why, why should we be drawing attention here and not well, the thing is, what people are? From, he from here, if it's set up so that it tumbles down and into this area of tents that would be a big distraction because suddenly whatever things that are in there well it won't be just one thing it'll be many tents because they're close enough together that they could go and catch a blaze yeah well how about we do one from both sides and if we do that fire delay we start down here and then we set that one on fire then we go over here and then we as we go Oh God! Where's the sun? No, no, sun's paving cheese. All right, so, all right, so I like that. Find, <laughs> so Crystal and I will go down, and we'll see if we can actually even find anything flammable and fully downy, like anyway, in that direction. Okay. So, uh, I gave him the plan, and I. We've had our discussion on it, and I go and say, make sure that whatever you do, you get, you and Crystal get out of it safely, as safely as you can, because if it, we need this to happen, any of us dying is not exactly a success here. Tanya shrugs off and says, yes, Mom, <laughs> and follows off after Crystal. <laughs> He's excitedly running ahead, looking for burning flame things. <laughs> okay. 
Come oh. on. All right, so how am I going to do this? Um, I can't travel that far as a rat, so where should I uh, go to first? Actually, uh, wouldn't my raven be able to go in there, uh, bring her down to canyon uh, floor level? Hang on a second, I'm doing DM things. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I like this plan Crystal. anymore. <laughs> Out of ten, how good do you think your investigation is? Ooh. Is Crystal still alive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> out, out of ten, how do you think? How good do you think your investigation skills are? Uh, a four or a five? <laughs> four or five? Okay. Um, I will let you find the bony things. I'll be the heavy mess. Heavy muscle and lift and do the carry things. <laughs> that, that sounds great. She's so excited she gets to set things on fire. <laughs> I think Athena was worried about the wrong person here. It's I, did possible. I did emphasize uh, the importance of uh, doing it only in case of emergency. Mm -hmm. well, of course, we're not stupid. We're not going to set down on fire. They're not. All right, so mm -hmm. we've discussed what. You kept me. What is the plan? Okay. First of all, I do need to go and make sure that uh, my my raven can actually interact with things. Like lowering a a small rat to uh, a certain <laughs> level. Alright, uh, let's check real quick. Uh, since we're Raymond of a Raven and it always obeys your commands. Okay. Good stuff then. We can go in. So I will go in and uh, get the raven to, like, I will guide the raven to uh, pick up uh, Nana in her rat form and lower her down to uh, the canyon floor. Yep, I use wild shape to turn into the rat first. <laughs> and. Uh, okay, so. Wait. And with. Moment. The, Oop. Nina up there. Why well, do I do that as rat, well? Yeah. Um, while they're transforming and ready. Does Crystal and I find any flammable bushy things? Any flammable bushes? Uh, anything that we can make into like a giant flaming bowl and we toss over the side. So big enough rocks we can coat in oil or pitch or a um, bunch of logs or something like that we can line up and set fire to it and push them down. I'll say both of you make a survival check. <laughs> oh, Crystal. Jeez. Come on, Tiny. You can, you can not do it. <laughs> oh, no. That didn't work out so well. So what does the tree look like again? <laughs> you, reckon any, you reckon anything will burn if you hit it with enough fire. <laughs> All right. Um, any big rocks at all? Uh, yeah, there's there's a vast array of boulders kind of encompassing this. Uh, this yeah, it looks very rocky. Really, very rocky, very difficult terrain. All right, cool. Um, well, we don't really have much in the way of burning stuff. I, I will try and. Um, where would the boulders be located on the map? Between uh, just points? all around the place. Just up on the walls, uh, all around it. All right. we'll, we'll finally go down here. 
and we'll zip some boulders up over here. Okay. We're going to try and set boulders up over there to, what, push them off? Yeah, uh, get ready to push them off, so close to the edge without getting too close. Okay, and both of you are going there? Uh, yeah, Crystal and I. <sighs> All right, so you're going off that way. Difficult terrain, so you're moving a bit slower. I imagine you're moving even slower than that to keep stealthy. Yeah, so we've gone up and we're probably a little bit outside the map to make sure we get a wide berth around. So okay. Even if, not, even if we're loud, uh, both of you really make good. stealth checks with advantage. You with disadvantage, so you roll flat. Session, we're all pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, with a wide berth, no obvious reactions come from the uh, from the camp as you trip over a rock and there's a loud metallic clang, but no one seems to be reacting from down there as far as you or uh, or Athena can see. Uh, and Nana, wild shapes. Yes. In, in two. All right. Yay! <laughs> I'm so tiny. Yes, you are. <laughs> I go and give her as much emphasis that find what's needed. If the the monk is in there, get. Yeah. Go, we'll have to go and improvise to get him out. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to okay. see what I can. <laughs> but I can't talk to you right now, I just nod my head. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm making the points. Yep. Roll intelligence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I knew! Nana, if you'd like to roll intelligence as well, you may. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> You're not coming through, Chris. Sorry. Your mine wasn't so good. Did I, wait, did uh, I click the wrong thing? That's yes. an intelligence save. Sorry, my bad. Try again. <laughs> I said that. Uh, <laughs> Nana just suddenly turns into. Um, oh. He was like, "What? What's going on? Where'd Nana go? What? What's going on?" <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So. You. So with that, I will say that you would have the presence of mind to know that your wild shape will last four hours, and you have two of them, so you can effectively achieve eight wild, eight hours total of wild shape. Okay. With a brief. Uh, with a brief moment of humanoid form in between those two. And with the 13, you would also remember that you were given that uh, that rune leather choker so that he knew who you were. Yeah. yeah. Can I actually take that with me? Can I put that in my... Oh, no. I'm probably not. <laughs> if you have the mind to do so before you wild shape. Yeah. yeah. With the 13, I would say that you would. Okay, and I go and uh, proceed to go and uh, convey this information to a stone uh, near Nana. <laughs> right. Where's the raven going to drop me? Uh, I will... <laughs> Where is the raven going to drop her? I, I will actually go and uh, have us move over to here and lower down to hear. Okay. The Raven. Okay, so in the hour you are all in position, you are over here. Yep. And, and Tobias and Crystal are over here attempting to pile boulders. Okay, and, uh, oh, let me phrase that more accurately. Attempting to subtly pile boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Though once I've... Uh... That's a D&D &D sentence. <laughs> yeah. 
once I've lowered her, uh, lowered Nana, with the help of the uh, the Raven, I'm going to uh, move back a little bit so that I could keep uh, an eye on the camp from here. All right. With the, with the Raven back on my shoulder. Okay. I take it it's night time now. It is night. Yes. Okay. And I keep my and dark vision as a right. I take it. We wait for full night for that. Yep. You do not um, want to go ahead. Actually, let me check. Uh, actually, I do have dark vision. I just checked um, on the right. So dark vision, 30 feet, passive perception, 10. Yes. The, yes. The, uh, well, you keep your uh, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores from your druid form. It's your physical stats that change. Yeah. So your passive perception remains as it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your dark vision, however, you do not keep because that is a physical thing. Okay. But I have dark vision 30 feet as a rat. It's not as good. Yes, as opposed to the 60 feet you normally have. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So. So, yes. The, uh, yes the, the slow and uh, slow and slightly frightening journey within the clutches of a raven's, uh, <laughs> a raven's talons down to the ground, descending slowly down 100 feet. And 125, 150, <laughs> just when you th think you must be nearing the end. Shakily, you perch onto the ground. And the raven squawks and flies back up the cliff. Okay, I can't move. No one seems either. to have noticed. Oh, sorry. No one seems to have moved you. Know? Or no one seems to have noticed you, rather. <laughs> and once uh, should, the raven is back up should on be able my to shoulder, control it now. I pull back here. Okay. Oh, yeah. So plunk me here. Okay. All right. Um, I start moving forward. <laughs> All right. Yep. Okay. So, as you are attempting to portray a rat accurately with, with enough insight into uh, enough insight into animalistic uh, behaviors and such I will have you roll a performance check with advantage to see if you can uh, feasibly pass as a rat okay performance with advantage yes Ooh. yeah <laughs> that's very believable <laughs> all right Ooh. so you are now in the camp you wish to do? Um, I guess I'll just nip around and keep my ears open to listen for any talking. All right, listening for anything in particular? Um, any talk of prisoners, where they're heading? All right. Make me a perception check. Another one? Okay. <laughs> and another? Oh my god, how many? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and one more. Okay. I waved to Nana, who can apparently even see us up in the door of the week. <laughs> Freaking cliff face. <laughs> yeah, she can see you, but you don't see her, so you're just waving through the pile of boulders you are trying to <laughs> <Yeah>. settle. <laughs> <laughs> you would, yeah, no chance of seeing me, Jesus. No. Yeah. But you see everything. <laughs> this is mainly for her hearing. Yep. Yeah. She can only see up to 30 feet. Mm -hmm. yeah, but she's snooping around the camp. So, uh, snooping around for about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. Uh, you did manage to catch a few tidbits. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, and overall you notice not a lot of these people are in cult robes. In fact, some of them just seem to be regular old common folk just walking around like nobody even cares. Others seem to be mercenaries. Some seem to be 
highway bandits. Okay. Uh, a few just seem to be uh, a few just seem to be bored workers. This place seems to be some cultists, but generally kind of a uh, kind of a kind of a melting pot of all different kinds of people. Uh, you do gain several very important bits of information, though, or rather notable bits of information. Okay. You do notice, and uh, take notes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's, uh, that several of the people in cult robes seem to uh, seem to mention someone called Tiamat. Tiamat. More specifically, they they greet each other by saying, "Praise Tiamat, glory." Uh, the general, I, the general populace seems to badmouth and disrespect the uh, the kobolds. Although the kobolds themselves seem to be a bit bitter about their position, but also mentioning Tiamat and how uh, their queen shall uh, shall treat them fairly when the time comes, mm. and they will endure what they must. Uh, you do hear a bit of a mention about prisoners, okay? But someone, but uh, primarily someone saying that. The prisoners have been uh, put to rest for the day. Mm. They'll continue working tomorrow. Okay. okay. One working on what I wonder. And then some. So then someone asks, "And what about the converts?" But uh, but at that point they move out of earshot. If you choose to pursue them further. Oh. Um. I might instead try and scout where the leaders appear to be in the main tent instead. Alright, so they walk off. So. And looking for a few leaders. Uh, I'll have you make a stealth check. Okay. And that'll be with your rat stats. Ah, now how do I do that? <laughs> Give me just... One moment. Ooh, stormy outside today. <laughs> well, Crystal and I set up, I uh, quickly whisper into a guy. You should have access to it, so go ahead and make. So just click dexterity, that should do it. Uh, dexterity on my character sheet thing? On the rat sheet. It should oh, be added sheet. to your journal. Ah. Um. Where will I say help? <laughs> uh, should be on the character sheet for the rat. Oh. You should just click dexterity. Um. Do I, sorry, on the actual, I've got the website open, but. No, I mean, in, uh, in game. Oh, in game? Yeah, in the, in the in game journal. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, sorry. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, I whispered to, uh, Crystal, go, did, did they tell you when we should go back? I can't remember what signal we used for when we should be going back. Um, I, I don't remember either. Okay. All right, 11. All right. Uh, you do try to get closer to that big tent in the center of that town you were talking about, but uh, as soon as you do, these uh, you notice these very large, scaly reptilian things, uh, much like the drakes that you were uh, that you encountered that ambushed you back outside the church of the Chante. Oh, yep. But uh, but they're different, as opposed to those ones who were just very live. The scales fitting well to them. The scales seem more uh, they seem more rigid, more like natural armor rather than just like a secondary layer of skin. Hmm. These ones seem more well built, heavier set, and they are also uh, a very vibrant shade of blue. Okay. And you get a bit close. One of them starts to 
sniff the air and snarl a bit. Oh. It turns to you and just kind of stares you down. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't move. As soon as it sees you, it stops moving. Its eyes unblinkingly staring at you. Um. If you'd like, you can make an insight check. Insight? Do I use it on my normal character sheet? Yes. There is... This creature is very unfamiliar to you. You're not quite sure what its intentions could be. But very uncomfortable stare. <laughs> Um, I think I'll stand still and then wait to see what it will do. Alright. Uh, you stand still. Just stare down, kind of just going on for a while. And, uh, and then it's, uh, its owner, kind of, or the one holding the end of the, uh, the rope that it is attached to, uh, looks over, kind of squints its eyes a bit. He's a, a murmur and just kind of mutters to it, just saying, pay attention, something along those lines. Yanks on the chain a few times, or the rope. Doesn't seem to do much, keeps staring. And then gives it a big tug and it just kind of snarls at him. And his eyes uh, turn back to him as it snarls. It just kind of keeps looking around, giving brief glances at you, but uh, not staring you down like before, but kind of keeping an eye on it for you. Okay, I'll... You... I'll... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say I'll scamper off somewhere. No, it's not... I'll okay, scamper, and scamper off you do. <laughs> scamper away. <laughs> Scamper away, you do. Okay, so I must be nearing my four hours, I take it? Uh, at this point, it'd be about two hours. Okay. okay. So I've still got a little bit more time. I could try and um, look around a bit more, see if I can find out any more information. Just I can't get to the big tent. <laughs> I try and scamper around a little bit more, some of the other places, try and find any word of where the prisoners are. All right. Uh, staying on the same side, moving. Where are you moving to? Um. Um. I might try and move. Maybe it's a little bit far, but over here. Over there? Alright, yeah, easy enough. Okay. Uh, make me two more perception checks. How many? We'll go with three this time. Okay. Oh, God. Hey! <laughs> and nice. three. Uh, well, for the first uh, for the first few minutes or so, you are distracted by a uh, by a piece of cheese. Ooh, cheese! Ooh, cheese. <laughs> sure. Yes. And uh, but after a while, you're like, oh wait, yeah, right, mission, mission, mission. Um, uh, a quick nibble and then run. <laughs> this square tent over here looks different to the others. Uh, yes, that is because it is a lookout tower. Ah, right, never mind. <laughs> or a guard tower, or whatever you prefer. Uh, yes, it is a uh, it is a tower. Top which uh, you can see several scaly kobold forms okay. shifting about, keeping an eye out. Uh, some hail down to a few people walking into camp, uh, saying, uh, telling them that they're a bit late, and then they call call back saying they got uh, that uh, they got held up, didn't find much hunting. 
the, over the course of this, with the uh, 22 and the 16, mm -hmm. uh, you do learn that... Uh, you do overhear someone saying that the Mother of Dragons shall return. When that day comes, all the nations of the world shall tremble before Her Majesty. And that uh, someone asked how much they got uh, from the last raid, and the uh, their compatriot replied, "Not sure. Nobody but uh, nobody but the higher ups knows how much, but must be big by now." Then uh, they do say that the prisoners. Uh, they do ask about where the prisoners are. They could use. Uh, they could probably still get some more work out of them. They said they've been put down to rest uh, in their tent for the day. Okay. Uh, down southward. Southwards. Can't have them breaking on us like the last ones. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, and. Uh, Oh yeah, that's uh, you're at about three hours at this point. Okay. Probably not really quite enough time to go scout further south yet. <laughs> Except I'm gonna turn into my normal form. <laughs> You've still got another hour. Another hour. Um. And it only takes about six seconds to turn back into a rat. That is very true, but I've got to do somewhere I can't be spotted. Plenty of places around here you could try and hide. Yeah. I've still got an hour. Um, maybe I'll scout out down here. Over there? Okay. Uh, I'll have you make me two perception checks. The first one to find a place to hide, the second to see if you pick up any information. Okay. Ugh. Okay, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the eight... Yeah, with the uh, with the eight, easy enough. Yeah, there's a fairly shady spot uh, behind these tents where there's a bit of foliage that you can crouch down in. Looks like it'd be about enough to cover your uh, your humanoid form. Okay. So if you just stay low to the ground, you should be fine, you reckon. And with the eighteen, you do hear uh, you do hear a very interesting bit of information cool. that, uh, that somebody tells. Uh, Somebody is saying to their allies, like, "What's so important about that place? Like, what, do, like, what are we keeping here that would be so important?" Hmm. And their patron says, dude, says, "Dude, shut up! Do you even know what we have here?" No, that's kind of what I'm asking. Right. Well, you. Well, of course we've got the loot. Yeah, that's the whole point. Usher in the mother of dragons. You gotta have a hoard. I mean. What? I mean, why else would we keep in our eggs here? Ooh, eggs. Ooh. I want a baby dragon. No, you can't have a baby Sorry. dragon. I want no matter. <laughs> I want a baby dragon. Okay, okay. No. that's interesting. It's okay. It's good to want. Right, um... Okay. Do I have enough time before having to change shapes to scout out a little bit further down south? Uh, I'd say getting to about here would be as far as you could get uh, before you've got like maybe 30 seconds to find a new place to hide. Okay. All right. I'll just, I I'll was just thinking if I found the prison, I'd need to give, show him the thing, and I can't do that when I'm born, shape shifted. Well, if you're heading down that way, I'll have you make uh, have you make another perception check. Um. Okay. And where was it that I could get to? Uh, staying on the lookout for a place to hide, moving, uh, moving at a slower plate, slower pace, mm -hmm. uh, behind that rock. Okay. Or that folder, rather. Uh, with a 16, you do hear someone talking about the, uh, that, uh, about that old, 
pointy-eared fellow tied up to the stake over that away, and how he'd uh, how he's been there for a while. Surprised he's not dead yet. Oh, okay. And they point off in the uh, eastern direction. Okay. okay. And if you'd like, you can roll me a d20. A d20? Yep. Oh, God, how do I do this again? Roll one d20, is it? Yes. Yep. Oh! <laughs> From the natural 20, you measure that if you run as fast as you're... Uh, you're about at this point. Actually, no, about here when you overhear this bit of information, and you see them point to the east, mm -hmm. uh, from scouting around the big tent earlier, mm -hmm. you wager that if you like work yourself to the bone and run as fast as you throw stealth and caution to the wind, <laughs> you, might, you might be able to make it here just in time to uh, drop your transformation. Okay. There was a uh, a very large patch of uh, patch of brush in that area. All right. That would be suitable. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> All right. I'll have you make a stealth check when you get there to see if anyone knows. <laughs> With advantage, because you are a tiny creature when you get there, and you would know to position yourself there because you scattered there earlier. So I did this on my normal character sheet. Yep. With this would just be a flat D twenty roll. Oh, okay. You just want me to do. I would. Flat D20 I would say. I would say it's a combination of both making a stealth check for the rats and making a stealth check for yourself. So I just say that the modifiers should cancel each other out. Okay. So I'm just doing a D twenty roll. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, okay. Yeah. Nobody seems to notice you. And as you just dive into the bush, you see uh, you see the world seem to grow uh, a bit clearer and more into focus as you return to your normal druid form, crouched down in this uh, in this large patch of brush. Nobody seems to have noticed you. And, uh, just a uh, few meters away, you notice uh, you notice a figure tied to a tied to a post. Okay. It looks like this. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> He seems to be uh, seems to be very weak. He's breathing, uh, but, uh, but you can you can clearly see a few bruises on him. No. Seems to be pretty on his own at the moment. Area doesn't seem to be very well lit. Okay. Can I approach him without being seen? Do I remain in the bush? Is there any guards nearby? Mm. Uh, doesn't seem to be any guards nearby immediately. Okay. If you'd like, you can make a stealth check. Uh, yep. Just um, using my character sheet or rolling it up a d20? Yes. Character sheet. This will be using your character sheet this time because you're oh, yeah, now in Druid form. Druid form, so I forgot. <laughs> oh! 20. Yeah, you're able to successfully sneak uh, sneak several meters uh, several meters closer. Okay. Uh, actually, hiding in a very similar position to him behind the post that he is uh, that he is tied to. Yeah, the, uh, the antlers kind of stick out a bit, but from a distance, it's pretty hard to tell that they're there. Damn antlers! Yep. So you are now uh, at the back of this guy. Okay. What do you do? Um, I'll try to get his attention if I can, without, um, 
just trying to think how I would do it. <laughs> what I was about to ask. <laughs> um, I'll tug on his rope a little bit, try and get his attention to look down. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, takes a couple tugs, but eventually he does kind of peer down off to the side and half through one half lidded eye and looks at you and uh, just kind of narrows his eyes so that he just very weakly seems to whisper to you, Who are you? What do I, you want? I shame the token. His eyes widen and then narrow again. Where did you get that? Um, oh gosh, I've forgotten the guy's name. <laughs> um, Suddenly a voice in the distance, take notes, notes, notes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot the guy's name. I should have wrote it down. <laughs> I say take notes. Uh, Nessim uh, is his name. Ness Nessim, thank you. Nessim Walatra. Yes. Nessim, um, I, I got it from Nessim. Yes, thank you. Yes. Foolish boy. Uh, I say I have friends nearby. Perhaps we can help him escape. it is getting a bit tiresome not eating. Do you have some kind of signal? An escape plan in mind? Uh, we have a distraction set up. My friends are organising a distraction. What kind? Too much attention, and it will just draw more attention to myself. Otherwise, we can return. Our main mission was to find you and to gather information. If you believe you, if you believe bringing me along would compromise yourselves, then it will be fine. I have my own means of escape. You kind of nods to his leg and uh looking closely you can see that there is uh there is a handle to a uh, to a small blade in his boot okay um i offer to assist him and i could un um try and undo his bonds if i can though it looks like there's chains over his wrist no, nah, they're ropes. They're just tightly wound. Okay. I offer to help assist him under his uh, rope, so then I will um, st um, stink my way out of here. That would be... And he stops mid-sentence and just... Just with you. Shh. Don't move. Oh. Oh. I need you to make another stealth check. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. That's not good. <laughs> Can I turn into Rapple? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
there are uh, there are a few go- <laughs> there are a few uh, few people walking by talking to each other, and one of them says, "Hey, it was that over there." Mm-mm. Now, if you'd like to, you can turn into a rat. I think I will turn into a rat and quickly scamper, scamper away, or at least stay. Actually, no, I'll stay still as a rat. They won't see me in the grass. Okay, you right. You shrink down into a rat. Yes. All right. I think make a stealth check with disadvantage for this, Aww. as you are trying to discreetly become a rat. And as his yes, and as his friend turns around, as he like taps his friend on the shoulder and looks back, he's like, hey, "What the? Where did they go? What are you talking about? There was somebody right over there by what's his face? You sure? I mean, you see, I mean, I see the other side of his face is more purple than usual, but but no, I swear." <laughs> Dude, you've been hitting the air too hard. Uh, either that or not enough. And they just kind of walk off, one of them looking over his shoulder a bit peculiar with a look like, what the hell? Nielsen <laughs> just kind of peeks his eye open. It's <sighs> close. Um, yeah. Looks around a bit. Before to act, you must do so now. Okay. Leave me or go. Leave me or untie me. It is your choice. Um, can I choose Bree's robes? Yeah, sure. I'll say. Uh, what would this be? <laughs> A very peculiar check here. <laughs> I'll say make a sleight of hand check. Okay. Um, with just on my normal character sheet, or do I need to do this a different way? Uh, just hit dexterity on the rat sheet. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do I still have that open? Rat sheet. There you are. Uh, yep. Yeah. Dexterity. Yeah. Okay. It takes you a few minutes, but you're able to chew through the ropes enough without hurting him. You you have to stop a few times and kind of like and you kind of just like scamper off behind the uh, behind the thing, and then yeah. kind of climb as best as you can up his uh, up his legs <laughs> to get back to the ropes. But uh, over the course of about twenty minutes, you do get his ropes free. Right. Okay. And you kind of slumps down a bit, the blood flow finally returning to his arms. He s- sweating uh, a bit at the relief. Just, okay. We don't have long before they notice I'm not here anymore. Let's move quickly. Lead the way. He kind of gives you a nod. And just kind of moves over into the brush next to you. Okay. Oh, gosh. Which way are we going to head out? That's a good question. Which um, way are you going to head out? Oh. Uh, um. You do know that Rathita is waiting. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can get back to you, though. I had to go through the whole camp. Um. There's no sort of paths out of this valleyway, is there? Didn't I uh, also yeah. say that the people were just yeah. dressed like regular people? Mm-hmm. Yep. The way out of here, uh, as far as you could tell, there were people hailing from the guard tower to the northwest. Okay. Heading and from the hours of observation, that does seem to be the easiest place to get in and out of. So that's the where the guard tower is? Yes, that's yep. where one of them is. Okay. The other being uh, atop a plateau over here. Oh, sorry. Hang on, let me zoom out. Where was that? Sorry. 
the other guard tower, the top of the plateau, over oh, here. Oh, yep. The way in and out, this way. Okay. Right, so we'll try and creep our way through the camp somehow. Gosh. Um, man, all right. Change your clothes. Yeah. And your own, because right now you're very noticeable too. Oh, I'm rat form now. Does Crystal or I um, know roughly enough. how long the she'd be able to stay in animal form? Uh, if she told you. Have you ever told us that, Nana? Uh, or have we had nope. the conversation? I may have had the conversation after I was in wolf form, previously. It wasn't brought up? No, oh, no, it wasn't. No, but it so. may have been. <laughs> okay, it wasn't. Uh, it, was, it was brought up while you were in wolf form, and you responded with, Grr. Grr. <laughs> 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 oh. No, it was never really spoken about. No, it wasn't. I guess not. It was never properly answered, so you don't know. No. Okay. okay. So right now you're just sitting behind a big old pyramid of rocks thinking, I hope Druid Mom's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything was calm down here, I suppose. We really should have made a signal to let us come back. Wow. Yeah, yeah hindsight. hindsight. Yeah. Well, it was plan B in case things went wrong. At this stage, things haven't gone wrong. We only plan, well, we didn't plan for when things go right. So eventually we're just going to, this is our life now, Crystal. We live here now. <laughs> okay. well, she gets up to long. leave. I'm going to try we live, and... Yeah, we live here now as she gets up to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and sneak through the camp. So northwest is our best option, I suppose. We're gonna to have to try and make our way through the camp somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work. I told you to lead the way, so okay. wherever you move, you will follow. All right. Or attempt to. We'll try and very sneakily dash across this clearing if we can. Oops. All right. Uh, I'll have you. I'll have you make a dexterity stealth check for the rat, and then roll me. 1d20 for Leosa. Okay, so dexterity from the rat. Vicky? Nice. And a d20. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Yeah. Not so, far, no one so far, no one seems to have noticed you. Okay. You, uh, you very quickly scamper along. He manages to keep up with you until you're almost to, uh, almost to the other side of this boulder. And then when he gets right about there, he just take a moment and look around and just was, I, where did you go? Where have you gone? You've stealthed away from him. Oh. Um, you, can see, you can see him about uh, about ten meters away. <laughs> I sort of scamper back to where he is. <laughs> yeah, you kind of run across his foot and he kind of jumps a bit. <laughs> okay, and then you you both uh, you both rush back behind this rock. Ooh, okay. Okay, maybe a bit uh, maybe a bit slower. <laughs> Maybe we should try, I'm just thinking northwest was the option, but maybe we could try and get to this tower over here where, where Rathena is. Is there a way to get up there? I don't know, there's a guard tower though. Uh, sorry, to where? <laughs> where Rathena is in the guard tower. Maybe we should try head there. Uh, up to there? Yeah! Well, while they're doing this, and well, while she's uh, searching the camp, I do end up uh, figuring it would be bad if uh, this one ended up noticing us coming back and away from it. Okay. So, 
I decide to try to sneak there and try to deal with the guards as quietly as I can. <laughs> okay, make a stealth check. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, normal or advantage? I'll play advantage because you have cover and the high ground. And it's nighttime. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Could have been worse. Yes. Yeah. Nobody yeah, seems to have noticed you. You get to about right here, hidden, uh, hidden behind Russian boulders. Okay. I keep an eye and wait until uh, the guards uh, move away from uh, viewing out across uh, where I would be. Mm, yeah. you, can, uh, you can see uh, they, uh, you can see several different faces kind of shifting around the tower. Seems to be about five of them there. <sighs> okay, this is going to be a bit reckless. But... <laughs> I'm going to sneak into the tower. Okay, uh, it is a 50-foot drop from where you are now to the ground. <laughs> so I'm going to basically have to go in uh, acrobatics and stealth for climbing down. <laughs> you can attempt to climb down if you'd like. Okay. All right, let's see, what will this be? Or would that be survival? Uh, let me check my book. Okay. Um, make an athletics check. Okay. Well, this is gonna go great. And if you're trying to remain stealthy, then make a stealth check as well. Okay, is it still on the advantage or normal? This one will be normal. Okay. Ooh, not too bad. Wasn't bad. Stealth. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a very, it's a very strenuous process. You're not used to, uh, not used to exerting yourself this much, especially during, uh, especially during nighttime hours. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but you do manage to uh, fairly quietly climb your way down fifty feet into a, uh, okay. into a bit of a shadowy area. They don't okay. seem to have noticed you. Okay. Well, now that the worst part of the worst part of it is over, I'm gonna sneak into the top. So another stealth. Uh, you're uh, you're able to time the uh, you're able to wait until they're looking away and then make a as quiet a mad dash as possible. You're able to get underneath of the tower. The ladder leading up to the tower proper is uh, is lead to a closed hatch. But aside from that, no one seems to have noticed you. You're currently okay. parched underneath of it. How big is uh, the area of the tower itself? Like uh, uh, it's just... about it's about a it's about twenty feet per side, about fifty feet up. Okay, 20 feet per side. Okay, is the the hatch close to the center of it? Yep, it's uh, almost exactly center. It's a bit off-centered, but not by much. Maybe a few inches. I am going to get myself as close to the hatch as possible. And I'm going to hold myself in place. Everyone p pray with me. Yeah. Bingo Arms bingo. of Hadar. <laughs> Arms of Hadar, okay. I'll be nice and read the spell description myself to let you know if this is going to work or not. Mm -hmm. 
from south, 10 foot radius, keeping myself as close to the center of the, the tower as I can. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Up to two creatures within five feet. Arms of Hadar, correct? Yep. Not gonna work. Then no, there's a dark no, energy a... erupt from you and batter all creatures within 10 feet of you. Yep. <sighs> yeah, you would know that this would be... Uh, that this would batter creatures within 10 feet of you, yes, but you would have to have an open area. <sighs> so it would, it would slap these... Uh, black tendrils of dark necrotic energy against the bottom of the uh, of the tower itself. Okay. Am I wise enough to realize that this is a bad idea? <laughs> if you want to try it, it would certainly create some kind of a commotion. <sighs> That's not what I'm trying to do, so <laughs> I'm like, okay. Sanity, you have to win out on this occasion. So, I wait till I hear that there's, like, I'm guessing I can hear the footsteps uh, as they uh, move about. You can. I listen long enough so that I can go in time uh, when they move away from the hatch, so that I could go, and go up and deal with them individually. Uh, what exactly do you mean deal with them individually? I'm going to be going up. I'll be using my newly acquired hunter's knife. And trying to deal with them as stealthily as possible. Basically, stab them in the back or the neck or whatever will actually do the, the most harm with the least amount of uh, sound. Okay. To are right. <laughs> She might be. Okay, so um, I'll have you make me a light of a hand check to see if you can open this hatch quietly. And it's a normal roll? Normal roll. Okay. It seems like to me, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, you, yes, you, uh, you're, you're actually finding it difficult to lift up this hatch. Mm. Okay, so it seems like that my actions are not hey, causing anything to happen, period. <laughs> Hey, you're like trying to like open it with like one hand very slowly and quietly and just it's not budging. Applying a little bit more pressure, trying not to like just full on push it up and open. It's just yeah. not budging. It's made of some pretty heavy wood. Oof. Okay. Hmm. There might be another way, but this is going to be loud as hell, and it's probably going to get the others to go in there and do what they are going to do <laughs> before we okay. even have a way to get. So I basically slowly climb back down to the base of the tower. All right. Yeah, make it down. And I look at the, the base of uh, the tower itself. Is there any spots that look like it would uh, give way? Mm. If uh, given, given enough force, any of these would give way. Okay. Would a electric blast be enough for us to go and say put whatever is holding this corner up in place? Go and knock that off. <laughs> Give me a moment. Let me just... There you go.
you can certainly try. Okay. I'm guessing it's going to be a critical or no dice, huh? <laughs> I'm not telling you that. Uh, okay. By the way, it's dice. Yeah. Okay. Here goes nothing. Let me just switch to my tension tracks here. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. That's what my playlist is, uh, is labeled at. <laughs> So is this a uh, normal or disadvantage? Uh, to hit the pillar. Well, yeah, just the to hit it. Blast. Yeah, you can hit. Yeah, you can just uh, you can roll flat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> That'll hit. Roll damage. Oh. All right. Yep. So you are able to just quietly murmur under your breath the the incantations for this, uh, backing away to avoid smudging yourself and just the most a bolt of force at uh, at a point on this pillar, and then <clears throat> with a great crack, it just splinters and starts to, the tower itself starts to wobble. You can hear them uh, up on the tower, they cling to it. What the hell? What was that? What's going on? As the tower starts to topple, o topple over, some of the uh, some of the supports beginning to buckle in on themselves. The tower wobbling very carefully. You hear someone say, "Everyone, stay still." Move too quickly, the whole damn thing up might give way. And yeah. while the, while I'm hearing this, I give it that little nudge that it needs. How? <laughs> hey guys, more no, Eldritch Blast. I can. We want to do this stealthily. <laughs> <laughs> I go and uh, hit the the same spot, but up, like or rather hit this one with Eldred's Blast to go and get it de de uh, completely destabilized. Alright. Go ahead and roll another attack. Normal? Normal. <clears throat> another Can hit. Happy enough? Okay. <sighs> yep, and that takes up the oh, there's another great Bits of wood spraying everywhere. Uh, just the whole thing then starts to tip over off towards the side of the cliff. Is he a... As, uh, some of them fall out, tumbling down the cliff. The others barely hanging on to it. The tower now suspended over the edge of the precipice. Uh, a few of them barely hanging on to it. Uh, some of the lashings uh, barely clinging to it. The... Uh, Two of the poles still stuck in the ground, but it is tipped over. Uh, there is now a great commotion going on down now, which all of you will notice. Yeah. I, w I I take the time to go and cut the uh, whatever is uh, keeping like uh, holding it up right now, or rather holding it on. <laughs> uh, uh, to to do that, you would have to dig the poles out of the ground. Okay, once more, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Roll again. Okay. Uh, roll again. <laughs> oh. Just enough to hit. Hey. <laughs> that cracks the wood just enough so that it starts to uh, starts to cave in on itself. This thing, you reckon it will probably slip in within a, within a, about a minute or so. Okay, I start uh, climbing my uh, way back up. All right, are you trying to remain stealth? As much as I can, given the circumstances. All right, I'll have you roll an athletics check and a stealth check. Hmm? Tiny, Crystal, and Nana, yes. all of you noticed the commotion going on over there. Yes. 
Athletics. Whew. Stealth. Alright. So, of the rock I have over there, I jam my longsword beneath it, pry it like a um, lever, and I push the boulders over down into the camp. Alright, you're trying to push the boulders. Crystal, what are you doing? I'm gonna help him. All right. <laughs> Tiny, make a strength, strength check with advantage. Nana, what are you doing? Uh, I see everyone running towards the commotion. Um, I'm think, I am I guess you're towards... Um, I forgot his name again, so I'm bad with names. Anyway, I, we start making a dash over this way. <laughs> All right. Squeak, squeak. Scurry, 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 scurry. <laughs> All right, 15, yes, the boulders start tumbling down into the camp. You see several, you see several of these, uh, several of these, uh, tunts just get completely flattened with a, with a sickening crunch and splatter, several screams. You okay, see, uh, so one person trapped with their leg caught beneath it, just screaming out in agony. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh you and Leeson move, move on as many people start rushing past you. Yes. I need you to make an acrobatics check to avoid getting trampled. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> oh. And roll a d20 for him to avoid being detected. Um, do I do just a dex check on the rat profile? Yes. Yep. Six. Alright, that's enough. And for him, a six. Plus his modifiers. Just the number you need. Oof. If he's able to keep his head down, duck, duck and weave between people with all the commotion going on, no one's able to notice who he is. You nearly get stepped on at one point. <laughs> it's very close. Um, now, I'm just thinking which way we should head. If we head towards Rythina, that's where everyone's heading right now. I think we might be best to head northwest and see if we can escape out that way. And while this is all going on, I am running back to roughly where the camp was, hoping that, or rather, that direction, so that Obviously, they all Crystal and I run as well, so have we some do. sense to go and try <laughs> to check off. back there. Okay, so you, so Tiny and Crystal, you're trying to run back. Yep. All right, wide berth, <laughs> still. What are you doing? Just fall out sprinting. Pull up sprint? Okay. <laughs> Alright, Nana. Yes, um, we're going to try and make our way to the northwest exit. Okay, alright. Make it, uh... I'll say you make a general stealth check for the two of you. Uh, yeah. So, dexterity for rat. Just roll me a d20. Oh, just, okay. We didn't set any rocks up over here, did we? Mm -hmm. eh, never said you did. No. So while I do, can I take a pot shot at one of those guards outside with my uh, heavy crossbow? <laughs> uh, mm. One of these? Yep, just anyone really. My oh, jeez. Uh, it'd be with disadvantage, but you can. I mean, it'd be uh, more than a pot. It'd be more than a pot shot, though. This thing is as big as you. I, when I'm over here, it is. So as we run past over there. I'm going to shoot from there, so they think there's someone attacking from here, as well as... Okay, uh... Yeah, after running for about a minute or so, you'd be able to get over there. Yeah, you could. I'll take that, dude. So that's still a disadvantage, though? Yes. Yeah. Uh, did I need to roll two d20s? Uh, no, just one. Okay. Right. Uh, so, just... Moving through the general walkway? Uh, yeah, everyone's running past us, so we'll just try and make our way amongst the stronger people. Alright, you managed to get to about uh, just by the guard tower. Okay. And uh, you two, over here, uh, you, your shot goes way overhead. Did you want to take a shot as well, Crystal? Why are you there? Um, yeah. I'll, I'll take a shot. Alright. Another disadvantage shot. Light crossbow. 
Uh, also a miss. Yeah, you don't even see where the bolts go. That's fine. They still think there's some more snipers and stuff attacking. And then we just bolt out of there. Yes. It is at this point that everyone hears a loud horn blowing in the distance, some sounding an alarm. Oh, jeez. We need to get out of here. Alright. What's everyone doing? Um, I'm trying, still trying to run out. <laughs> All right, and I'm so uh, and I'm going back to roughly the direction of uh, our last camp that we were to. All right. This uh, is basically so going back towards where we need to go, anyways, since we got some information. I hope. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tobias, Crystal. Uh, again, we're heading back to where we first had there, uh, and then back to the camp. Hmm. All right. Okay. I'll have uh, I'll have everyone make a stealth check. I'll use the rat decks. Yeah. Flat roll or flat roll. Okay. Then I need a roll for um, sixteen as well. With disadvantage. <laughs> uh yeah, go ahead and roll one for Leosin as well. Yes. All right, one D twenty. I stream. Oh, okay. Hmm. Good, and Crystal. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ravina, someone does seem to notice you, but uh, they are quickly they are quickly bombarded by like about twenty other people uh, trying to pull him off of the guard tower that is currently about to slide off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the two of you under the commotion do manage to sprint your way out <laughs> out Woo. through the crowd of people. The kobolds, distracted by what is going on over there, blowing their horns as well, direct, directing people over to where the commotion is. Yep. Uh, some people rushing past you going, what the hell's going on over there? Uh, Tobias and Crystal and Rathena all manage to make your way out of the, out of the scene as... All the sounds of commotion, combat, alert, horns going off, people <laughs> yelling and screaming. Uh, the all seem to fade away with a final loud crash and the crumbling of wood as you hear the guard tower collapse onto the ground below. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as, and then I'll need all of you to make athletic checks. Okay. At this point, Nana, if you'd like to drop your druid form, you can. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go back to my normal form at this point. All right, back in normal form. All right, making an athletic mm. check generally. Athletic. Mm. And do I need to roll a d20 for Leos as well? Uh, Leos and yes. Leos and one d20. All right. Okay. All right, and one from Tiny and Crystal as well. Yep. Stuff, wasn't it? Athletics. Uh, athletics. Athletics. Oh, well done, Crystal. Natural twenty. Jesus, baby girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well done. You and were, I'm the you only one with You're all about them high rolls tonight, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> she is. <sighs> And I am winded after 10 feet. <laughs> uh, you are winded. The stitch in your lung is getting to you. You're clutching your side. <laughs> just using your staff to help propel you along as much as you can. Not used to running or exerting yourself physically this much at all. I need to pick up Rathena and just continue to run. <laughs> Throw her over her shoulder. You do not meet Rathena. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. No, but you are able to successfully keep up with Crystal, showing her that this is one of the few things that you apparently can do. <laughs> I <laughs> I do you are run. <laughs> I can't Crystal is fueled by adrenaline, just going, just going. I hope Nana's okay. We have to get to her. We have to help her. She might be in danger. Run, 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 run. <laughs> yes, and you, Nana, and Leosin are 
sprinting in just a mad dash, him stumbling a bit behind you, still winded and tired, having not eaten or drank or having any had anything to drink for who knows how long. Oh, and soft, just getting blood flow back into his arms, pumping them like mad, just trying to get away. You, you hear the sound in the distance of some footsteps seemingly coming up coming in a direction that might be after you, and you should make another athletics check. Okay. okay. And a d20 as well? Yep. One d20. Oh. Yeah, Leo, yeah, you notice Leosin is starting to fall behind. He's, start, he's starting to oh. gasp and wheeze, clutching his side, but still desperately trying to keep up with you as you gain as you gain about five meters on him uh you can just barely make him out behind you between, between the trees all right i'll pause and wait for him to catch up <laughs> all right all right you pause for a brief moment he's able to catch up with you but he just keeps wheezing at you <laughs> go go <laughs> keep running <laughs> i help him I um, um, I try and support him as he runs. Yep, you, yep, you throw his arm over your shoulder yes. and you keep, you keep on trying to uh, kind of staggeringly run as fast as you can away from away from this scene. Okay. <laughs> and then you manage to come back to your uh, to your former campsite and collapse to the ground, just panting heavily. Him just face flat on the ground, just bare, just gasping and wheezing to his side. Tobias and Crystal. Uh, a few moments later, you come crashing. You come crashing through the trees. Uh, Nana, you go for your staff, and I notice who it is. And Rathina, you uh, you are completely in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> well. You just look around. You just look around yourself. No longer able to run. Just leading yourself. <sighs> Where the fuck am I? <laughs> okay, I get my uh, my raven to go up uh, eighty uh, feet and take a look around. Yes, and it, yes, and you are easily able to see that uh, they're about uh, they're about fifty meters off to the uh, off to the west of you. <laughs> okay. It's like fuck more walking. <laughs> And I'm like, okay. Uh, I am going to be like dead that. for the night. Is that all? We can go for another uh, another ten k's. <laughs> good. And I work my way back to the group. Yes, it takes. Yes, you're. Yes, you're all on edge for about an hour, just panting there, trying to come down from that. And then Ravina kind of flops into view. <laughs> then the raven just kind of comes down, just kind of right at her face, and just goes, ah! <laughs> Yes, yes, I'll go and crawl my way over to the campsite. <laughs> and I'm like, to the group, Mission accomplished for the moment. Let me sleep. <laughs> Ty looks over at Rosina and goes, Gotta, Gotta keep, keep silent, silent huh? <laughs> All the fun and that's where we'll end tonight's session. Woo! <laughs> um, before we do go to have camping for the night, um, I, I suggest that we sit up on top of the hill where the rock came from, so there's only that small pathway up there. Yeah. In case people come up looking for us. All right. All right. Moving camp up to the up to the hilltop. Yes. All right. Very well. I'll sleep here while you go and move over there. <laughs> I am exhausted. <laughs> I need to name my crossbow. Oh God. <laughs> Why? I'm thinking Agatha. <laughs> if you're playing Dragon Age, the name is Bianca. Bianca? <laughs> I was oh, waiting. Yes, it is actually Bianca. Yeah. 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 And I was like, there's a dwarf who named his crossbow Bianca. Yes, there was. And it was unhealthy, the obsession you had. <laughs> oh, Eric and I Bianca. Bianca. Yep. Penny and Agatha. Yes. I guess that could work. <laughs> Tobias and Agatha. T and A. 
Yeah. It uh, fits. It's scary how well, but it fits. Because because when I fight when I fight her, it's Tata. Oh man. T A T A. That just reminds me of the fact that there that in the game Chivalry Medieval Warfare, one of the battle cries is for the glory of Agatha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> yes, well done. You successfully uh, uh, gotten away oh, from the camp, uh, stealthed your way in, yes. uh, gained some information, mm -hmm. rescued a captive, wait, wait. and gotten out, and certainly caused a few civilian casualties. <laughs> and managed to do it without so, any of us actually so, getting... Injured, yeah. per se. By the way, those innocent lives are on your head, blood. My <laughs> idea was to crush the commander's tent, but you're like, no, let's crush the civilians. <laughs> <laughs> just, just put Yeah, on. you actually crushed the prisoner's tent. Uh... <laughs> they were all chained. They were all chained to a post in there. Oh, poor prisoners. <laughs> they, they, that's about twelve. That's about twelve tent. lives crushed by a rock. Oh. <laughs> That's on Way to go, team. Tiny. No, no, no. no that's See, on Crystal, you. there are ways to kill people without fire. <laughs> there are? <laughs> yes, gravity. All I did was collapse the tower. No, you no, didn't have the no. rocks go down on top of them. No, I didn't want to put them there. I wanted to the... All I did was climb a ladder, then climb back down, and then break an entire tower. <laughs> Nothing happened. I found cheese. <laughs> you did find cheese, yes. <laughs> and the prisoner. Woohoo! <laughs> I love how the prisoner is the second thing there. <laughs> oh, gosh, that was fun. Well, none of us got injured. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, that's, first. that's the first. That's the first time Tiny's gone a whole stream without dying. Oh, no, that was the last the gear. That's right, yeah. <laughs> but he was unconscious at the start, I think, so never mind. Yeah. Start this one too. Never yes. Mind. <laughs> there will be I'll, a I'll say this. He, will he, may not, he may not have gotten knocked unconscious, but he did fall asleep on the job. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Which is about as embarrassing, to be honest. In fact, more so. That's okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Any who's. I got to put it out of him. <laughs> well, that was a good session. We'll be continuing on again next week, of course, same time. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we've got some more information now, so it should be good. See what happens. Yes, yeah. thank you all yep, for doing it. It was a lot of fun. Um, thank you for our lovely Absolutely. Group. Even if I was the one that decided to go and break the spell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey. She gave me a whole 20 minute lecture. <laughs> don't, don't break the staff. <laughs> you know, don't, don't make sure you cross the civilians. No, don't cross the commander's tent. Cause, cause that's where the, no, no. And then she goes over and blows up a tower and goes, cause I'm bored. Jesus. He <laughs> <laughs> got us out of there. Suddenly it reeks of hypocrisy in here. Exactly right. <laughs> And see, see, I was going to go the evil character. It turns out, right, Athena was actually the evil one all along. <laughs> Is it weird that I kind of prefer it that way? <laughs> yeah. See, I was going to go an Oathbreaker Paladin, but I guess, you know, jeez. I thought, you know, Athena wouldn't like that, or Athena wouldn't want an evil character. So you were going to go commoner? <laughs> yeah, basically, we'll go commoner. Um, but it turns out that Athena and I would actually be best friend if I go evil. No. Mm -hmm. Anyways. You say that as if going evil is such a simple choice. It is. <laughs> My guy's halfway there, to be honest. Nah, you're just like, nah, you're just like fun. You're not really evil. Yeah. I, I really want to become an Oathbreaker, but I've got to be evil. No. Why are you so obsessed with Oathbreaker? Because I get to control the undead. And one of our party members is a Damphia, which is an undead. Guess what? what? Half living means that don't work. 
no, still half undead, so still undead. But no, more. I just want to be. That sounds so cool. Their powers are awesome. Just being called an oathbreaker is enough to get you killed in some cities. That's okay. I'm not going to hopefully. Give, well, I might actually. I'll have an army of zombies. <laughs> So wrapping it all up, thank you everyone yes, for anyway. watching. Thank you, Crimson, thank for you. DMing again. You're amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk with Christopher after this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and thank you, of course, Kitten and Elena for joining. Yeah, it was a nice. pleasure. <laughs> it was a stress, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it was both. Okay. Everyone was just like, uh, I'm tense right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you guys all next week for the next session of Dingoes and Dice. Okay. Right, thank you guys. See ya. See ya, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.